Hi guys, uh, Tim here. Uh, this video is uh, part two of my video series in which I'm showing you how to create profitable binary options of robots using MT4 platform. Let's get started. Um, now, first of all, you, you go back to open your MT4 platform. Um, in, in this uh, tutorial, I select uh, Euro USD pair. Uh, and the time frame is uh, 15 minutes, okay? And the custom indicator I'm using uh, in this video is uh, trend line, trend line uh, break. So here we are, okay? So basically, you just click on it and slow the indicator, okay? And as you see here, um, the red arrow is actually a buy signal, and the blue one is a sorry, uh, the red one is a sell signal, and the blue one is a buy signal. Okay. All right. So let's back to um, go back to the codes. So in um, in the first video, I already show you how to read uh, standard indicators. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to read um, custom indicators. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you open uh, the Google and type in MT4 documentation and click on the build website. Okay. On the left hand, you look for um, technical indicators. So here we are. And you also. Um, look for a uh, custom indicator. Okay, so you should be, so here. This is the function for reading uh, custom indicator. So click on it, and what you see is actually the formula, and the job is basically just uh, put in uh, parameters. Okay, and copy uh, the name of the function. Go back to the codes. I write. Uh, um, variable okay um, the name of the indicator is drain lies break okay for example uh, uh, this is actually by signal and time by and I look I look at the last bar okay and you just paste the, the name of the formula okay you go back to the website, a symbol, type them. So as we did before, you just type um, the default uh, values, symbol, okay, period, current. All right. Uh, next parameter is the name of the indicator. Okay, the name. So look at uh, double quotes. It's a chain. Lies underscore break okay and the next uh, parameter is the mode um, mode is actually the, the index um, of the buffer where we store uh, a buy or sell signal okay so, so basically every indicator a uh, custom indicator has six uh, buffers okay where uh, it stores uh, buy or sell signal. So your job is actually to determine which actually belongs to buy signal and which is actually sell signal. Okay. So I, I'm going to show you in a moment how to uh, determine uh, buy signal index and sell signal index. All right. I, I just leave that uh, parameter blank. Okay. And the next parameter is shift as usual. Uh, the timing n bar plus one, which which is the last bar, okay, in in, in uh, relative to the current bar, okay. All right. So uh, what we're going to do next is to determine the the index for buy signal and the index for sell signal. Um. Now. Um, I'm going to use I'm going to use a small EA 
to determine the index buffer for buy and sell signal. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, this small EA. Uh, okay, so just give me a moment. So you should be around here. Okay, so probably got to make a window. Batches. Okay, so okay, so here we are. All right, so this this is the name of the EA that I'm going to use to determine the, the index buffer for buy signal and the index buffer for sell signal. Okay, and you go back to MD4 and the indicator. You open um, the source code. Okay, has indicator signals dot MQ4. All right. So uh, in, in this code, actually, um, the first part is you have to enter the name of indicator you are using. So I type in trend lines underscore break. And the next section is actually you got to specify the date, uh, the day where you know uh, a, a buy signal was uh, generated. So look at here. For example, I I choose this by signal okay I zoom in a little bit okay right so yeah I got to zoom out okay so this this is signal okay this by signal was generated on for example uh, 11 uh, October 12 uh, 30 okay and tying uh, 11th October 12.30 sorry 12.30 alright next section is actually specify the dates uh, where the bar has no signal okay um, so you look at here so basically uh, I can I can choose any bar okay any bar here where there is no signal for example, I pick um, this one. Okay, this one. The date is um, yeah, third uh, October, one forty-five. Third October, one forty-five. Third uh, October. Okay, one forty-five. Okay. Now the last section is going to specify um, dates of a bar where a sale signal was generated. Okay, so if you look at here. Okay, so this is where a buy signal was generated, and this is where uh, a sale signal was generated. I zoom in a little bit. Okay, the date is. Uh, 1st October 1515 okay 1st October 1515 yeah, 1st October 1515 all right having done that I just simply click on compile uh, button to compile the source code so we check for no errors so that's good so what I'm going to do is to um, yeah to just run uh, the code double click on it and click OK All right, so uh, what I can see here and um, is actually uh, trying to make it a little bit higher. Okay, so the buy signal. This this is seven seven buffer indices again okay, for buy signal. So this one. Okay, and this is actually seven buffers for no signals. Okay, all right. And the last one is actually seven buffers for sales signals. Okay, right. Now what I'm looking for is actually, um, yeah. So so you're looking for is actually uh, when there is a, a buy signal, right? So the buffer value is um, is actually has the value of you know um, the price of 
more or less the price of the, the currency okay so look at the currency about uh, 1.14 okay right okay you you, uh, you you do step by step by subject the first index uh, index zero you see from the buy signal the value is zero so you forget it okay the next index one um, the buy signal is zero forget it uh, index two the buy signal is zero you got the index number three the buy signal is so one point one five just a, just a roughly about you know the price of the currency okay uh, index trades, okay. I'm very interested in index trade. I check the no signal uh, index three. So zero. So basically, you see, uh, from the buy signal to no signal, the value is from the, the price of the currency and uh, it changed to zero. So essentially, the, the index the buffer index of buy signal is three. Okay. So I go back to um, the codes, right? And I book in number three. Okay. Now I want to write um, variable for reading um, sales signal. So what I can do, I just um, copy and paste. Okay. And I want same signal. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, the buffer index. I want to look um, in escape from. Uh, from no signal to sell signal so you look at here no signal right you look at uh, sell signal you say uh, index number two again okay, uh, the signal value the buffer value is about 1.16 okay so that's good um, from sell signal to no signal okay number two okay and you see uh, the value actually doesn't change okay so maybe I'm looking for something else. Um, all right, maybe number four. We look at the um, index number four. The value is a one point five six, and number four not zero. zero. Okay, from zero to one, uh, one point something. Okay, so the sell signal, I think is here uh, number four, and the book number four here. Okay. Now haven't done that all right so basically we just finished you know creating the uh, variable to, to to store buy and sell signals okay so what we're going to do next is actually to go to specify conditions um, okay to, to book a trade uh, when the buy signal occurs and when when a, a similarly for what when a sell signal uh, happens so in last video, I uh, I set condition for uh, standard indicators, but I don't want this one. So if, if you don't want uh, a certain section of code not executed, so what you do, you book the double forward slashes, okay? So I comment out this code, okay? Now I'm going to just to uh, set condition for buy signal so uh, this is the value of buy I just uh, copy the, the variable copy and book it here okay open bracket so if this signal is uh, greater than um, zero okay right and similarly I copy this one I set condition for self signal, I don't want the standard indicator condition. I just comment out them out. Okay. Right. I put this here. This is buy signal. Sorry, sell signal. Okay. So why why I said it's a red and zero? As you uh, remember, you go back here. So from no signal. Okay. Today is a uh, sell signal, so the value is erected and zero, right? Okay, similarly for, for buy signal, so that's the reason I put zero here. Okay, now having done that, you just click on combine buttons to combine the codes, and 
that again take out um, deject the errors no errors so that's good um, let's go back to mp4 okay and I want to upgrade this one a little bit yep okay uh, now for, first up I got to remove the uh, small uh, AI which he used to determine the buffer indices of my inside signal okay I remove it now I'm going to test the main EA or Robox. So I'm going to demo. Okay. okay, so here we are. Okay. Right. Click on the comments. Um, the input on. Okay. Right. So press buttons. Alright, so uh what I see here, sorry, um, I think I make a mistake. I got to uh, turn on this code. No, turn on this code. Turn on this code. Sell mm -hmm. and buns. Okay, everything uh, looks good. Yeah, and do again. I press the, the combine button to combine the codes. Guys, okay, and uh, and what you see is uh, actually this is a back test again okay, from periods of 5th June to um, 19 October. Okay, so basically we have 20 trays, and the winning trays is 10, and the lose train is 10. So yeah, the win rate is about 50%. Yeah, 50% uh, win rate for binary option actually you cannot make money. Uh, you, you got to, to improve the win rates uh, until you reach uh, at least uh, 60 percent all right so uh, now what I'm going to do is actually to improve the uh, win rates right now um, now um, I'm, I'm going, going to do step by step now I look at uh, I look at why is how to improve um, you know win rates for my signals and similarly, I'm looking for ways to improve uh, wind rates for the same signals. So, if, uh, first of all, if I don't want um, same signals to go to uh, um, same signal conditions, you come out, you look the double forward flashes, okay? You come out this one. So, basically, this section of code is not actually given us, okay? And so, compile the code again. Right. Okay, okay, so uh, so what, what you see here is an active statistic of um, by signals only. Okay, and uh, we write the for six percent. Normally, normally when I see uh, an indicator gives a win rate about less than fifty percent, I I ignore this. Okay, I'm, I'm not interested in the indicator because. Uh, even though you, you try you know, you spend time and effort to improve the uh, win rates, um, which actually uh, is not worth it. So, uh, um, I, I just interested in indicators that give, you know, at least uh, 50 cents, okay? So, you go back to the codes, alright, and you, um, yeah, you remove the, the comments of the set signal. And when you check whether the set signal uh, can give you know, at least 50 percent, Win rate, okay. And I comment out uh, by signals, okay. And combine the codes again. And go back. All right. So look. So basically, this this is um this is the stacks of uh, set signals, okay. Um, the win rates is uh, right like fifty percent. Yes, um, I'm interested in uh, sell signals for this indicator only. Okay. Now, uh, next, I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to find ways to improve the win rates uh, to at least sixty percent. Okay. Uh, one area I want to look into is uh, price actions. Okay. Um, so essentially, I don't want you know um, the buy signal here. So what I can do, uh, probably, um, 
Well, I've actually removed the indicator and reload it. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Now I look for for sale signal where there is a loss rate. So I see whether I can improve um, the win rates. Okay. Forget about buy signals. Okay. To look at the the sell the sell trade. Okay. So this this is actually uh, the red this red arrow was generated by the indicator and this red arrow is actually um, generated by the, the robots okay, to, to place uh, a sale trade, okay, a put trade. So the check uh, so this the, the circle is actually in case that an expiry time and you put the cursor here you see that the profit trade profit loss is uh, positive, I mean this is a good trade, right? Okay. So uh, what I'm, I'm going to do is to look for a loss trade to see um, what can we do to improve the win rates. Okay. Okay. Right, this is the first sell trade. The next sell trade. Okay. Um, this sell trade also a win trade, so uh, yeah, just um, ignore it. Okay. The next one. My signal, okay. This one, same trace, also a wind trace, okay. So basically, we have three uh, loss trace. So I look, I look what to look at the loss trace, okay. So I go all the back, okay. So maybe zoom out a little bit, okay. So this one, I want to look at this one. Um, yeah, so, so this one is looks like uh, a loss trade to me. Yeah. So yeah, you, you move the cursor here and you say uh, the trade profit loss is negative. So alright, so uh, I want to use uh, I want to use a bright action that, to see whether I can improve you know uh, the win rates, okay? Um now what I'm going to do is to um, probably I, I'm thinking using uh, Bollinger Banks, okay, uh, to see what I, what can I do with it. Uh, you go to insert, you go to load uh, Bollinger Banks, okay. So, uh, okay. Now, what I can see immediately is uh, if uh, at the signal bar. As the signal bar, right? The close, the close of uh, the signal bar is actually below the lower Bollinger Bank. So, so if this is the case, most likely the price will go back within the banks. Okay. So uh, I don't want this trade. Okay. So if you look at the wind trade, okay. So the wind trade. This is a loose trade too. Actually, this is a blue straight so to look at uh, the wind train. Okay. Okay. So take a look. What? Okay, for this green joint, we have, yeah, we have actually the close. Of the last one, the signal bar actually below the uh, the low banks, but we still have a uh, wind trade. So let's see the next uh, wind trade. So yeah, I can do zoom in uh, this one. All right, so uh, take a look at this uh, wind trade. Right, you see, you see the. Uh, Actually, yeah. Um, so what I can see is not at the signal bar. I can see, okay. Um, actually, the bar before the signal bar, right? The close, the close of this bar actually uh, within uh, the Bollinger Banks, okay. All right. This is what I noticed. Now let's 
let's just take a look at another root join. Okay. Okay. And and you see again, um, the close of the bar before the signal bar actually uh, within the Bollinger bands. Okay. So uh, well, so let's just let's have a try. So um, now what I can do is I want to test. Okay. Say. Um, the close. I want to set another condition for sell sell trade. Okay. So ends. I can say okay. Um. Close. Okay. Of the bar before the signal bar. So it should be end bar plus two. Okay. Uh, right to the ends. Okay. The uh, the lower Bollinger band. So remember, in first video, we only uh, created a variable to store uh, upper band and lower band. We just copy this variable and put it here. Yes. Um, this. So I think I think I make mistake. Yeah, it should be should be uh, in the same signal, not this one. Cut this one. Okay, let's be here. Okay, and look at here. Okay, so this uh, close, yeah, in bar plus one. Okay, should be corrected ends. Um, yeah, bone job. Eh? So, what's the name of the variable lower bang? Okay. Okay. All right, so I have done that. I press the combine button again to combine the codes, and you look at the errors, no errors, so that's good. And what you can see, okay, the win rate actually has been improved dramatically, 100%. All right, so that's 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 very good. So uh, yeah, so so basically um. You, you keep doing this right you look at the the loss signal and you uh, you might combine you know the um, the signal with uh, standard indicators and price actions to improve the win rates okay of, of the robots and you keep doing this until you satisfy with the final result so um, but in this example so, so basically I only use sales signal from the custom indicator okay and I use a uh, standard indicator and price action to improve the win rates. Okay, um, so that's that's the basic of what I'm doing to um, to build profitable uh, by the options uh, robots. Um, I, I I think um, yeah, some of you guys might be interested in you know my, my tools to quickly develop profitable by the options uh, robots. Um, I I think that's uh, yeah. I think that's that's all about for this um, part two. So if you're interested in my uh, my tools and my uh, services, uh, please contact me um, on the details below the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.